Hello everyone and welcome to yet another in our cast. This time around we have Link facing a uh, base. It's gonna be a PvT those mirror match now. But I think we started a little bit too early, but we can still not even doing Vitas that decide in the map pool to play on. Let's currently see what we are play with. We have a 3.5 uh, Bear Master on Diamond 2, apparently, against a 3.9 Protoss in Lethal Diamond 1. To max. It is a very, very high difference. In but it's still winnable for Bear Master if he prepared. That is if. Let's see. Ah, the finally st starting vetoes. We have uh, Bear Master vetoing Italy altitude. Shocking. Brasvan has been vetoed by Lethal. Well, at least uh, I won't have to tell that name once again. Could be. I. Mm, if somebody wants to know it's a best of three, uh, I don't think we'll have time to to do uh, something longer like last time because the uh, fan uh, cup started in a few and I want to be ready. I have too many things. Uh, Royal Blood has been vetoed by Bearmaster. Lethal responds with a veto to Babylon. So the current map pool they can play on are uh, Ancient, Cistern, Dragon Scales and New Humanity. New Humanity is the first map chosen by Bearmaster. Don't have to stress for the mod because they remembered. Thank you guys. And it seems like we're ready to start the first game. New humanity, Protoss versus Terran, Bear Master versus Lethal. Ready. Look over here. I, I, I'm, I'm not leader. Let's go, Lee. Nah, I'm not. I'm not taking sides here. Okay. As you can hear, the game is finally starting. We had a little bit of confusion as to when start the game. The, the, the rule in this case is uh, ignore the caster and just start whenever you are ready. Casters should be doing their own thing. They should be. Um, anyways, anyhow, bottom right corner of New Humanity LE, we have the Protoss player. It is 
Lethal. Also known as Lethal BB. Oh, interesting. Beaky uh, Pylon Scout. On the other side, we have Bear Master. Play Terran in red. The master not going for any proxy shenanigans so far. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be the case because this looks like a perfectly standard build from him. On the other side, we do have a gateway, so no cannon rushes. Not that I like them against Terran, to be absolutely fair. Is there a link to the bracket? Uh, I'll have to check in with the, um, the Pigpen Discord. We do not have access to it yet. I mean, I, I haven't got anything prepared to show it. This probe is very keen on killing the SCV, but the SCV is relentless. Uh, the other SCV is relentless in following it, and it might be a kill. Uh, regenerating shields, it's gonna be fine. SCV scout for Bear Master. I like this, um, this defensive option by our Terran player. This is it's uh, Cyber First, no expansion so far. I mean, it's meant to be delayed, but... Okay, pylon building. Oh! Okay. Big pylon to try and put command center off center. This is mostly annoying against Terran. It's not like a big deal. It's gonna be a, a few minerals late. Um, the whole Terran build, but... It's not as big as a pylon block against the Protoss around. Uh, for his uh, forge by lethal. This is interesting. No units out of the gateway. Uh, that's mainly because of gas. You should get an adept. Thank you. You were a little bit gay and late on gas. Uh, that's because you haven't saturated your second one yet. Second gas going up for turn while he goes up the um, the one one one. Bunker on the low ground just to be safe, so Bearmaster is not going to have any pressure on the other side of the map for quite some time. I expect until the first medevac is out, I won't see any units. Since we had a SCV scout, I'm not too mental about the um, the lack of a Reaper. You had most of your scouting info. There's still things that Protoss can do at this point in the game to try and throw you off, but it's fine-ish. Uh, command center morphing into an orbital. Very well, very well. Aliens! I was not expect. An uh, Alien, to be absolutely fair. I was expecting more Widow Mines than, than anything else, but they can still be good. Photon Cannon in both bases for some reason. I don't know what scared lethal. Uh, maybe the. Maybe it doesn't really like. Uh, playing against Widow Mines, I decided to go for the Photon Cannon approach. I'm not too sure about those. We have an Adept Shading on the uh, second mineral line, but three Marines are right beside it. I'm pretty sure we could have tried and do something, but this Adept is toast. Very nice reaction by Bear Master here. Ending very well. Three Hellions already done. Uh, fourth one not on the way. It's gonna be a uh, three, four. It's a Marine drop and a backstab with uh, with the Hellions, leaving Bear Master a little bit undefended. But otherwise, it's a good one-two punch. The cannons though are going to be a problem for Bear Master because the Hellions are not going to deal too much damage against. Uh, against those and that will severely hinder the, the ability of the of both sides to be absolutely fair to deal any damage to the probes all right exploding in production is bear master with two more barracks being added in the drops are starting the marines are going to fall very quickly against the cannon you don't want to fight the cannon to be absolutely fair just Try and follow the army, rotate. The Hellions though are going to find a stack of probes, but they're already losing units to the cannon. The cannon 
as much as I disliked it, it's gonna pay itself. Very much so. 12 probes have been killed though, so while it looked like it was going well, when the probes were stacked against the Hellion, I think that meant that the Hellions could roast as many of them as they could. And it was a very good job by Bearmaster, evening up the worker count, even taking some, some sort of lead against Protoss, which is very good for Terran. Refineries, uh, both of them starting in the natural. Still on two bases uh, is Bearmaster, while Lethal has a third already up and running. The uh, the one with one more, or two more, it's two more. Uh, two more things, but we have an attack for Protoss here, killing the bunker, killing the units inside the bunker, but no other damage was done uh, beside having all the SCPs pulled. The... Ooh. nicely done. Stalker trying to be annoying, but this is not really an army that can break a wall. We also have a few probes being rallied here for reasons. Uh, some reasons. I'm sure there is reason. Probably a mis a mis rally. <laughs> and Bandmaster is still on the defensive, still on two bases, which I'm not too, too sure of, uh, but he'll be able to expand soon. I think he, he needs to expand very fast. Uh, while the, he's mustering up an army for the human shield timing, um, Maybe he wants to tie it up with the plus one, plus one, but while he is attacking, I also think he should be expanding because we have on the other side lethal taking a fourth base. The economy for all these guys is exploding right now. All the bases are defended by at least one cannon, so oh that's a distinct lack of gas. How many how many zealots do you want to play, Lethal? You need some gas, you know. More gateways, even more gateways. You have a Twilight Council, but no end game tech like um, Templar Archive or Dark Templar Shrine. Massive oversaturation on the natural. That's because we lack a third. Finally, we have an Orbital Command Center being moved in. Alright. Finally, turn is starting to have some semblance of a good economy, but on the other side, again, we have so many probes for lethal for Nexus. I'm going to, to be able to do so many probes. And the army of, of lethal, why it is not high tier in any way, shape, or form, it is still very deadly when it comes to it. We also have a war prism for uh, support. And the first attack comes, the zealots charge in, they deal so much damage and anti-armor missile not really paying dividends for the turn. The wall is still down, this base is gonna be ravaged by zealots, another European sealing the deal, and this base is close. Has to retreat a bit because there's no anti-air mostly. This army, I don't think you really can stand against this many, many zealots. That's, that's so many zealots. Technically, they are a little bit incisive. Maybe they're gonna take a few with the mine shots, yes, they did, which kinda saved their master. It was not going so well, but with those shots, the army has been cleaned off. On the other side, though, on the main base, we had the Zealots doing all the damage they could. 30, no, sorry, 27 and counting SCVs going down. Finally, the army has been cleaned, but still a Zealot. Hello, beautiful. Now you cannot just walk through the base and try to fly off, you know. Not how things work. This leaves Bearmaster in a severe deficit in probes and workers in general. Because 38 workers. Finally, we do have a third base established. Uh, it's going to be defended as well by Widow Mines and such, but this is not a good position for our Terran friend. Lethal though still going on with mostly zealots. I would love to see some something to counter the zealots. Like widow mines are very good on. Um, I mean, they are extremely good, especially against zealots. But we're starting to see a, a pivot from lethal uh, from his mainly zealot army into immortals, and uh, I'm kind of sure this is going to be disruptors. I wouldn't mind a Colossae as well, but it's gonna be very tough 
or bear master either way. That's a lot of barracks. Another factory for, I assume, tank production. We also have a ghost academy. I love that. I would love to see also a ghost or two, maybe, being added into the mix instead of just marines for the time being. Ah, now that I think about it, upgrades are kind of even with plus two uh, weapons go uh, going to finish up as a little bit later than the plus two for Terran. A Terran has plus two plus two and Protoss is just researching plus one, uh, plus two and plus one uh, armor is gonna stay as it is. And the, and the Thermal Lances, okay, I'm fine with, uh, with Colossi as well. Three Robo production in Colossae though, that's gonna be a lot of lasers. An attack on the fifth base at this point of oh, Protoss. Denies the base entirely. It's a cancel, not kills. So it's not that bad. Nice siege in position, especially against this army. It's gonna be fine. The Widow Mines are shot are incredible. More Widow Mine shot dismembered Protoss army and there's not enough meat but the Colossae. They don't have the range upgrade, but they're still very good. The army of Terran is forced to step back and try and retreat. The zealots that are leading the charge are going to be massacred. But this army is not really going to contend against these liberators that are going to scare off the whole army. And in the retreat, we lose an immortal and maybe a colossi. I don't think it's very cool then. Oh, the mortal is quite But the army of Terran is simply too little. We have still production for Terran, so the, the army has reinforcements. The leaps need to unseat. We finally have ghosts on the field. And with ghosts, this become a much easier fight. Templar Archive, a little, a little late in my opinion. I don't like um, Storm in, in the later stages of the game, but... It's still, it's still a good tech. Fifth base being taken on the other side by Lethal, who's taking a beating, still up in worker, uh, down in army supply, so I would love to see a move out from Terran, who's just building more and more army. That's a lot of medivacs. Not enough marines and marauders for my tastes, but we finally have the, I guess the rallies here, yeah. Consolidating the army is bad master. That that is now a very good army for Terra. All right. Oh, lethal is going to Argons. I like those. They're not going to be very useful against uh, the EMPs, but they're going to force your opponent to to use all their uh, EMPs on on the fluffy balls. Another engagement here, the Zealots charging and get obliterated, no EMPs yet, finally EMPs uh, are connecting against the Stalkers, the Libra dealing so much damage here, the Colossi almost dying, the Archons are trying to do what they can, be, but the Terran army is still very strong and all the, the, the meat shields for the Protoss have fallen, so while this army still has the DPS he had before, it cannot really stand against the DPS of a Terran army, especially if I own. It's not like it. Any, any other matchup in PvT, but you know, another base being taken by Bear Master uh, is trying to take the rich uh, Vespin Geysers here. A very good base, but it's not going to be as easy to defend. It's kind of in the middle of the attack path of your opponent. Do we have any sensor towers? Finally, we have one. Uh, I I don't mind this position too much. With the mines being spread all across the land. Oh my, that's an immediate destruction of here, uh, the shield battery. But the recall is phenomenal here. A true strong attack by a lethal BB who's almost with the almost shot himself with uh, with the disruptor, but the turn army has not the power to stay here. They're trying to retreat, trying to kill something, but they're losing ghosts as they do. The army for lethal is now looking very fine. The reinforcements are finally here for the turn, so you might be able to anchor this defense. 
with the mine shots were nice, good, mostly on his arm, and he has nothing left to try and defend the reinforcement up. Coming from the barracks as they are produced, but the base has to be evacuated. Uh, bit of that. Does, does not have any any mood shields, but Terran does not have any, any DPS. And that's it for the first game. There it is. Thankfully. The first game in favor of Lethal. It was not as one-sided as the MMR suggested, so this means that Bearmaster has prepared very much for this game. For this series to be absolutely fair. Second map is going to be Ensign Cistern, chosen by Lethal. Seems like we're all ready and ready to go. All right. So Ensign Cistern is a much more straightforward map. I I think Lethal taking the um, uh, the Reach Mineral base very soon into the game was part of his uh, of his victory, but we'll have to see if he finds anything else on this map because the bottom left side we have in orange is Lethal. On the opposite side. Playing in red, playing turn, it is once again Beer Master. Bear Master. Not beer. Not them. Another pylon scout by Lethal. No. Okay. Good. And a bit late. Not too much uh, too big of a deal. But it could have been a fault. I was almost scared. Okay, a CV scout after the barracks. Probe trying to be annoying. Very nice reaction by Bearmaster. Just one SCV on attack. You don't even need to migrate, just attack the probe and that's it. Probe cannot do anything. Gas finish it for Protoss. Nothing too out of the ordinary as of yet. Bearmaster coming in with the scouts. He's gonna scout the core first for Lethal again. And a bit late on that core, mate. Okay. He really wanted to pile on scout. I think he lost the probe here, though. Could have used it. Cool. Cancel on the pylon means it's even more lost uh, resources, but it's not too big of a deal. Oh, nice block here. SV's uh, wins against the uh, the probes on one 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 battle. So we needed a second probe by Lethal, and the expansion from Lethal is quite delayed, even more so than the one of Airmaster. It's a nice early lead uh, they can get. It's not team winning or anything, but it's still good to have, especially on, on the mental side of things. Throwing off your opponent while also getting a, a boost to your confidence can mean very much in the long run. Violet Council and Ford, once again, I think this looks like both of the same build. Uh, maybe a little bit faster on the on charge we're going. 
it shouldn't be by any means a DT drop or anything along those lines. It doesn't look like a rush, it looks like a very committed two base push by lethal. The base has been established by Bam as they're still not transforming the orbital. Finally, we do it. Uh, Barracks a little bit idle, but I think we're starved, uh, starved for minerals uh, as Bearmaster. Again, with the same build, I would say for Bearmaster as well. With uh, three Hellions and the drop on the main base. Bunker on the low ground again, very uh, very safe and defensive for Bearmaster. Forced to cancel the depot though, that's gonna be not too big of a deal because we don't, uh, we didn't need the depot yet. It's not as annoying as it could have. Twilight is finished. Forge is finished as well. It seems like, once again, Lethal does not like to, to play against the, um, the Widow Mines and decides to go again for a Photon Cannon in both bases and now we also have a shield battery in, the, in both bases already. This might mean that with this big of a commitment on defense, he really wants to push on two bases way harder than before. Again, I cancel on the depot. It's getting very annoying for Terran because it's not like you can really contest a, a stalker unless it's not being micro. The marines are very brave here trying to Kill the stalker, almost gets it. 7 HP is the damn thing. Alright, switch from last game. We have just the medevac with 3 Hellions. It's gonna, it's not going to be as devastating as uh, the, uh, uh, the harass we saw before. But it can still throw off the uh, Protoss, especially if it gets into this base where the probes are stacked. But the shield battery is gonna, it's gonna be real problem. Finally we have the robotics facility for the war prism. Charge halfway down plus one armor. I really like that decision because Terran will have mostly marines at the start of the game and when that push hits I don't think there will be uh, many marauders so plus one armor means that these elves with a base one armor will be almost unkillable. Aliens going in See the shield battery, sh see the cannon, but they decide to go in nonetheless. One probe already going down, nice pickup. No damage so far for turn, well, mostly full damage, but pretty big deal. Losing one Hellion, are we? Two Hellions, all of them, but. Uh, or two probes, if you don't lose the medevac, it's still. It's not good, but it's not terrifyingly bad. If you would lose the medevac as well, that would be terrible. Alright. Raven here. I like early lay Ravens against uh, Protoss. It really shuts down blindly some of the cheesiest builds that. No, really cheesier, but. Some of the most annoying builds that uh, Protoss can go for also uh, snipes the observers and it gets you an interference matrix. Always cool to have. Tiny bit of a push on the wall will not find too much success besides killing the bunker. I have a tank and supporting forces. Just don't lose the tank, yeah. I'm fairly convinced that was not a good trade for uh, for Protoss, but Terran already has lost the units in the uh, in the harass that did not go brilliantly, at least. But this is a Interesting position for the siege tank. Um, not too too sure about it, but well, you know. Team and shield about to finish. Plus one for Protoss is as is starting just one and just now. It's gonna tie up nicely with the plus one plus one from Bear Master, but we also already have plus one armor for Protoss. Still not that big of a commitment. Uh, observer trying to go in. If it flies over the army, it's gonna be shot immediately. It seems like Lethal is controlling it very closely. Is the army just stops there because he knows that there's a missile turrets are going to scare off this Raven? Uh, sorry, this uh, War Prison. 
but it still gets to warp him in outside of the range of the um, of the tank and the tank has been demolished almost immediately already a nice pickup for a protoss player who's forcing most of the army to go back while the rest of the army charges at the wall very nice move by our protoss player still and as cd4 might change as the tide it's a whole position just to try and have the siege tank kill all the um, these allies by itself the army is still very good here very nice moves here by bearmaster manages to both clear up the main base and defend the tank with sort of minimal losses it's not perfect but it was good enough now the problem is we're sort of even when it comes to army trading but on the other side of the map once again we see lethal expanding up to four bases while the opponent is struggling to to get a third again he takes this third without even moving the army out the wall cannot be lowered beside on these two points the tanks are not sieged on the on like, this spot here to try and and defend and deter any attacks did we lose the no the raven is just lazy it's not going to scout the observer lazy ravens on the other side again we see robotics facilities being produced two, uh, two more of them will mean that once again we will see a three robo push and the robotics pay for at this point i have to assume colossi All right, finally the observer has been cleared out. Siege tank in still a very defensive position. I think you could push it a little bit forwards now they have uh, the, the army controlling the spot here, but still a pain to do. Protoss mostly massing its own army, having, having to rebuild all the important units like the war prism and such means that he was not able to, to continue the to make a secondary attack almost immediately. Move out from Terran. I actually like it if you know that you're you're gonna be behind in bases and in economy. But you also know that you're about to or just hit a power spike. Moving out is always the correct call. No army positioning for... Well, the army is near enough to try and defend and try to save this base, but the DPS of a steamed army is still very high. Mortals are trying their best. Vidomites are going to send a few shots on these zealots and they're going to be very dead in here. Nice pick up after the... Ooh, hoo -hoo. Fireworks for days. We need an observer yesterday. Do we have any? No, we do not. We don't have detection, so these leader mines are going to be very annoying to deal with. None in, oh, okay, one in production. Good, good. Sensor tower by Terran. Three dropping out. Cutting Marines finds the army. We also have the attack notification so Bearmaster knows the rotation of the army. Teach at the widow mines! Teach them! The mines very aggressive, a few die before the attack even starts. But the widow mines shot are very good and the army once more we see a le uh, little army without any meat shields in front of them. The retreat of the Colossi is still a very good, a very scary prospect for turn to the follow and the disruptors as well are very good for disengaging but the army supply elite now goes in favor of their master once more the worker supply count is not too far apart and Terran can always um, try and replenish that with the mules raven though still lost in the woods with the mines from before finally um, got to to sync up with the rest of the army Probably with a few more kills now. Little trying to take yet another base up to five. We are while Turn is struggling to take a fourth. Well, I say struggling just because the command center is very slow. So 
storm is going to, to be finished for the next push. It's a very quick research after all. Ghosts are being researched. We have cloak for them being researched, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And it could have been um, Banshee. Very rare to see. Cloak for ghosts, but we still don't have any ghosts on the field. Also, we don't have the enhanced shockwave as far as I know. No, we do not. So, they're not going to be that good uh, yet. They could be way better. Widow Mines again demolishing the, the cells. And that is not the shot, though. That is not the shot. No place for Terran, or at least a little bit too late, we saw them. And the Terran army cannot engage into this pool of destruction and they will leave. We finally have Storm as well and this means that the Terran army cannot engage into this. This is one of the scariest compositions to engage as Terran because we have Storm to train the the uh, destructor to force to disengage from Terran and the Colossi to punish all the engaging disengage that the Terran is doing. We need Vikings, we need Liberators, we need something with long range to try and not uh, and deal damage while not engaging. This push here by Protoss is very good as he finds the army still rotating to the good position. Very defensive and not really going into, into the base yet, but storms absolutely devastating here for turn as really cannot fight against this army. Once more we see that the army of Lethal has not got any any stay here. Oh he's losing oh my god that, that land is very killed like five oh, stolen from themselves. The Protoss army has been cleared off by some twist of fate. Storming themselves not moving to Archons I think that's that's a problem. That's also a lot of of, of observer. Losing a few of them still means that you have more little how just how many observers do you have? How many do you need? The one supply each, I know, but I cannot build 20 of those. Oh yes. The glorious high templar tank trying to kill a uh, widowman. Managed to deal a whole well damage. OP if you ask me. Ghosts are finally in production, two on the field already, and correctly. One, yeah, you have two. And this means that the engagements are still not, not easy for Terran, but if the Zealots engage into your army, you can punish them as, as well as the, um, as the Archons. Fluffy balls do not like being EMP'd. We lost a raven and we never rebuilt it for the Terran army. Yeah, we lost it. We just have one ghost. Reasons. City Shrine for uh, Protoss is always a good call in this scenario. So if the game is stalled and you cannot attack into, into Terran, DTs are always good for splitting attention. Uh, especially if the, if the Terran is split so, so all throughout the map. Sensor towers on all the bases are very good defensive advantage. At the same time, you're telling Protoss that I'm pretty sure does not know about this base that with this huge range, you're screaming to your opponent, hey, I got this base, or at least I'm trying to take it. Random disruptor, flanking disruptor, kills a widow mine and a and um older. Was a little bit spoofed, besides to uh, see that. Disruptor are going to be very useful in dealing with all these widow mines, but the widow mines are still dealing too much damage to these zealots. Oh my god! Oh. That was a hole in bone half. And with those bowling balls, I think that's, that's game. Ah, with that, it is. Time for us to end. Very nice and quick uh, best of three. But we'll have to stop it now. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.